What up guys? So here's a pretty simple strategy that you guys can use to farm multiple projects and it shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes. This is something that I usually do, for example, on a Sunday or whenever I don't feel like farming. So first of all, we're going to be bridging some funds using Hyperlane and Merkley to send it to scroll. So I know there is a lot of FUD around Merkley, but you need to read all the information it says for layer zero, for example, that they're taking into consideration low amount of funds per transaction. So that means if you're bridging something like $5, a worthless NFT, obviously you might be flagged as a Sibyl or that transaction might not be taken into account for the yard drop. But if you're bridging something like $100, 500 bucks, you should be good to go. So whenever I'm using Merkley, usually I'm bridging more than um, $100 or maybe up to 500 bucks. So you just go to Merkley, Hyperlane, click on Token Bridge, and then you send some funds. So for example, I just bridge some funds using Arbitrum, ETH, obviously, to scroll, and then we can start farming scroll. So the first step is bridging some funds. If you st just started farming scroll, make sure that you bridge at least once or twice using the native bridge. After that, you guys can use whatever you like. So once you have your funds, first step is that you can take a few swaps on SyncSwap, which is tokenless. So for example, we can swap something between ETH to USDC or maybe WBTC, USDT or any other token. The only thing that I don't like to do is swapping between stable coins. So USDC to USDT. I don't like to do it. Make sure that you avoid it. So for example, we have backpack that they're not taking it into consideration for volume. So I'm just doing the same thing. Whenever I'm farming something, I just try to skip whatever it is stable to stable. So maybe WBTC to USDT, from USDT to maybe WETH, from WETH maybe to USDC, and then from USDC to ETH. Just use whatever you like, but try to avoid stable to stable. Once you're done swapping maybe once or twice on SyncSwap, you can basically go ahead and do the same on Ambient. They are tracking points. So for every transaction that you take, you're going to be receiving some points. Or if you add some LP, some liquidity, you're going to be earning some points. Also, you guys can even check your points right here. Next is Jumper, which is another project we love. You guys can even swap on it. So you don't need to do a cross chain. So for example, we can do ETH and select scroll again right here and do something like USDC and then swap it. Next on the list, which is Satori Finance. This is a bonus. So Satori Finance is a per platform. They're tracking our points for every transaction or every trade that we take on the platform. So just come here, click on launch up, choose scroll because they have the option for ZK Sync, Linea and many others. But if you're farming scroll and if you already have some funds there, just use scroll. And then you guys can deposit some funds, which by the way, you're going to need some USDC. So that's why I'm mentioning all the DEXs previously. So you guys can swap for maybe using SyncSwap, Ambient or Jumper. And once you have your USDC, you can just click on Satori Finance for scroll, click on portfolio, connect your wallet, and then you're going to deposit right here. Again, it is only using USDC. So you do need to deposit some USDC. You take a few trades and once you're done, you can then remove your funds and then swap it again on any of these tokenless DEXs like SyncSwap, like Ambient, like Jumper, back to ETH. If you want to, you can even remove your funds from scroll by using Hyperlink again, just by switching. So from scroll to Arbitrum or to Polygon, to Ancient A, to Mode, Menta, Optimism, or even BSC, which is something that they just added. So right there, you're going to be hitting many things, six projects in total. But if you want to, you can even add some other projects. So just make sure that they are tokenless. So obviously you can re receive uh, multiple art drops at the same time. This shouldn't take you more than 15 minutes to complete maybe worst case scenario, 30 minutes, but still you're going to be hitting six projects in total. If we do the math, first we have Hyperlane, which is a great project. Second, we have Scroll, we have SyncSwap, Ambient, Jumper, and also Satori Finance. So in total, we're going to be hitting six tokenless projects within 30 minutes. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions, any doubts. Happy farming, guys. Bye-bye.